So they don't expect you to be a booker forever. I mean, they say two years or whatever, and then you're done. Uh, Dusty had a great run, but he was also booking Dusty Rhodes. You know what I mean? And Dusty knew how to book Dusty. And I've said this before. People have always said, well, he never did a job. No, Dusty did jobs when he knew it was time for him to do a job. It would revive the territory. Do you think being a booker and a wrestler at the same time is like a bad thing to do, or you think that's okay? I think in today's day and age, uh, it's not the greatest thing to do because it's very hard to separate your ability as a wrestler when you've got a pencil in your hand. Back then, do you think it was okay? Or do you think maybe somebody else should be the booker and then wrestlers maybe shouldn't be bookers? Well, it was okay then because it was a way to keep them for the promotion, to keep the major star from leaving. It was also employed by the owners, you know what I mean? Oh, he, he may be going, you think he could book? Yeah, I think he could book for a while. And Okay, let's make him the booker because he'll get a big a jump, pay, jump in his pay and we'll keep him around longer. When you're like the wrestler and the booker, do you get heat from the guys? Like, oh, this guy's he's a and he's a wrestler, and he's like, do you get heat from the guys or no? Yeah, you can if you don't, if you change your attitude, if you, if they can come to you, and you can can explain what's happening, and tell them honestly what's happening. They got no bitch because you're still one of them. It's when you become a booker and you blow them off and bullshit them. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.